Don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like sunshine on your skin in the middle of the winter when it's chilly, in the weather getting dry, front of a fire, laying with your baby and you're getting high. Well, a couple of buttons on a sweet day, I've shown blown up a perfect way. Don't you love life when you know, when you know, you know you feel like the first time you feel it in. Where are we yeah. going? We just pulled up a gear away. Here we go, look. Red belly oh. black snake. Hello, mate. Wow. He looks terrifying. How yeah, beautiful. What's a uh, gear away for you? Pulled up. Second day in a row. Snake on the way into camp. And they reckon snakes mean when you come across them, transformation and new understandings are about to come to you. We've got a 20 minute setup. Very, and, very simple. And that included you cooking... Cooking myself a burger because I'm really a hungry. Vegan, a vegan tofu burger. Yeah, it's yummy. We've got the tent up, with all sides out. Cool little setup that serves as a little awning tonight. Got cool new chairs, a simple table, two plastic containers with everything we need in it. Little fire pit ready to go. Peace out. Okay, heading down to Bald Creek, um, to the creek itself. Beautiful little spot. Just thought I saw a cougar. <laughs> There's no cougars here. But I thought I saw one. Yeah, this is a really beautiful spot. And this is heading down this way, down that track. So I just crossed. It's down to the junction. Back up that way to the camp areas. Cool little rock pool that I found here last time I was here. Probably a chance of some decent water in here. A good little swim on one of these platforms. The kind of rock platforms come down and create little pools. In between the rocks, obviously, they're rock pools, but they're really, really different. It's a lot of granite rock through here. This is the kind of ground we're walking through. Here we go. Here we go. Trickle, trickle. It's pretty, eh? And time for a swim. Fresh. It's actually a little bit cooler than um, than out at um, Burrows Creek, which is you know half an hour that way um, further west. It's a bit cool. Obviously, this is coming from more through the rocks and keeping its um, underground temperature a little bit more. But um, absolutely beautiful. The water's at the junction. It'll be flowing. It'll actually be a little slippery dip down there, which is pretty cool. Should be able to get a good look here now. Just runs through. Beautiful creek. Just keeps meandering all the way down through. Pretty lucky you don't get to see one of these every day hop oh, scared him hey little guy hey beautiful Wow, how beautiful is that? It's kind of a bit humbling actually to see a little fellow like that. So cute, just want to walk down to the junction. Never know what you're going to see around here. Junction is where Ramsey and Ball Creeks unite. Continue 250 meters from this point to explore the many rock slides and pools, white sandy beaches, and impressive water holes. Yeehaw! Pretty time of the day to come out here too. 
pretty amazing. Sun's coming down. And this is where it starts to drop. I've got these little white lines painted every now and then just to point you in the right direction. There's a lot of water coming through here sometimes. You can imagine that to be a good guide just to keep you above the high water watermark so you don't drop down and then walk too low. And I'm going to end up sort of missing the track further on. But it's running today, so it should be fun. Entrance to the junction, under the gate. Here it comes. Many rock slides. Oh. Might be our first one for the day, I think. First slide. Maybe not a good place to start. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Next one. Bit slipperier. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Woo. That was kind of cool. Maybe a little crescent to swim in down here. Oh, hard things getting out now. So slippery on the edges. Get out the top of here. It's actually quite deep in the middle here, like this deep. There we go. Just got up on a step there. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh, oh, oh no, that's right. It gets pretty gnarly up here. <laughs> that one looks pretty gnarly, eh? <laughs> what do you reckon? Ah, once it start, there's no slowing down. Looks a bit rough down the bottom here. Come back here with Jolly in the morning, I think, and try this. All right, I'm going to come in on the edge here. Here we go. It looks too gnarly over there. <laughs> I don't think I can stop going that way. <laughs> Definitely going to come back tomorrow. Okay, here we go. There's a little one. That's epic. That's beautiful. Woo! Sounds like these get reminded. It's all worth it. It's worth the effort to come to places like this. This is such a beautiful feeling. We're not even at the junction yet. Might visit this tomorrow with Jolly. Wow. Peace out. Beautiful late afternoon um, swim, rock slide, everything. Time for a fun little jog back.
plant one side. Oh, oh, look at that. How's that looking? That's what we get. Big plant one side, chicken the other. How's it going, vegan chef? Ah, oh, smoking the eyes, but good. Char grilled, eh? Good, Straight right? on. We'll hit that with a bit of butter in a minute. We'll put it on the plate. I'm loving this. How's that? What are you mm. eating? Apologies. What is it? It's our char grilled broccolini. It is so yummy. There we go. Guys. Char grilled broccolini, eggplant. It's a high recommend. The eggplant. I think if we had our own eggplant, it would be a lot better, but we bought a pre-marinated one and it's just not a nice marinade. But if, mm, it's like barbecue meat for vegans. Just do it. You have to. Mm. <laughs> Bit of ASMR. Chicken's still cooking. Next we've got uh, zucchini. And there's some eggplant to go through there too. Zucchini. Chicken. Notice the uh, chicken is on the lower side of the plate so that the um, chicken meat doesn't go over the veggies for the vegan. That's how we manage to live together. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here, right? And I'm hearing that rattle. Yeah. I'm like, what is that? It must just be the wind is rattling the thing. And then I'm looking down and I can see something over the hot plate. Yeah. And I'm looking closer and obviously young eyes got 20-20 vision in the dark. <laughs> I could see the possum and then I could see the baby on its back Damn. and I was like, oh my god, what do I do? I don't have a torch on me. I don't want to move and scare it. So I was like, dad, dad, come here. How's our day of nature today? I know, that was just incredible. Echidnas, big red belly black snakes. Big kangaroos. Kangaroos everywhere. And no possums and babies. Good morning. <laughs> it's actually really chilly. It's right? so cold. We uh, basically died in our sleep last night from <laughs> how cold it was. We both woke up at the same time and I was trying to, I was in the dark trying to find my jumper to put on a tank because it's really cold, isn't it? And then we uh, we went on a mission. I stayed out of the wind for just a sec. Oh yeah. So we went on a mission to uh, get a picnic blanket to put on top of us. We both slept in our Ugg boots with a beanie and two jumpers on. <laughs> and got my puffer out of the car too. Yeah, and it was so cold. And this morning it is still freezing. As you can tell, I'm literally wearing my puffer like a blanket right now. Um, but... And what are we? We're in um, September? Yeah, yeah so September. September, <laughs> September. I think it's September No, 12th. about 14, I reckon. Um, September 14. And um, we're... Um, so we're in spring right now, so I can't even imagine what it would have been like in the middle of winter here. Ooh, it's apparently going to get down to three tonight, but I think it was three last night. Luckily, we are getting out of here. <laughs> um, um, but, but right now, we are um, pushing past our tiredness, and we are going to walk up the pyramid, which is this epic... Like boulders? They're like boulders, aren't they? We can probably see them from here, couldn't we? Yeah, it's through there. No, just over there behind all that. Yep. So we're going to go walk that and then we're going to come back and go hopefully hike down to the junction. Uh, and then we'll probably head home a little bit later. So we're in for a good morning, a freezing cold good morning. And uh, finally that Coleman pic picnic blanket, which has got plastic on the bottom and the nice soft fabric on the top. We turned that upside down and that was uh, a huge help, wasn't it? Oh yeah. That toasted us a little bit. So. Big difference. I think the Ugg boots was my favorite part about it. <laughs> Sleeping in Ugg boots. Sleeping in shoes, just you think it's just a horrible idea, but it actually worked out really well. I was spewing I didn't throw the gloves in. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> we would have had them on if we had brought them. Okay, here we go. We'll um, see you guys at the top, I guess. Yep, the pyramid and then the junction. You.
some markings in the street. Go. Look at that. How's that rock wedged in there?
We're actually exhausted. We are. That was a lot. I was expecting it to be difficult, but that last part <laughs> was actually really difficult. That was really hectic. Um, it's really beautiful. The energy is amazing. Mm. It's, oh, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. I reckon even if I had to do that probably twice, I'd probably still think the hike was worth it. The um, wind is crazy. It's insane. And it's cold. Yes. It's like, <laughs> it's like icy wind. So we've just kind of set up like behind, like the top is just there. We've kind of set up in this little lodge. You can show around. We're actually in such a beautiful spot right here. Um, oh yeah, have let's a, have a little look around. Have a look we're looking at right now. Just sitting in amongst the bushes, looking back to the east. And the uh, top of the pyramid is just up there behind us. But it was so windy coming from the west. The southwest is cold wind coming oh, across the plains. It's insane. It's insane. The whole way up, you feel like you're going to fall off. You're going to get blown off. Do you want me to hold it? Oh. So, yeah. So up to about 1,500. another hectic night's sleep last night. Oh. <laughs> God. I feel like I could lay here in the sun and just fall asleep. For I'm a while. pretty keen to just chill out here for a little bit. It's such a beautiful spot. The view's incredible. There's actually, we had a little adventure around, around the bottom, because there's a bunch of the big rocks or formations or whatever you want to call them um they just got such beautiful energy around them there's something incredible about those things yeah, you could crawl around there for ages and then you go yeah. over to turtle rock and the sphinx and bald rock is all over that way it's down back down another walk and then over this way is actually what you would have seen on the camera before was um, the second pyramid mm. which we're not going to explore this time i was kind of had a mission to do that this time but what we do want to get to is we want to get to the junction yeah. And have a little swim before we go back and pack up and head back to civilization. So hopefully we're gonna find some little rock slides there. There's uh definitely some to be found mm. and a nice white sandy beach to finish our trip mm. with a bit of sunshine on it. Awesome. Stay tuned. Time to head back down to the junction, have a swim, and brave this wind. You got a big friend just there. No, big furry friend. What is he? Is a wombat? Ah, uh, he's a kangaroo. It's a kangaroo. I hey, big fella. Definitely some slidage, slidage going around here guys. We're in for it. We're in for it. That one looks cool, doesn't it? Should we give that a try? This is going to be freaking freezing. It's so cold. It's so but we're going to start here and work our way down the rock slides until we get down to the junction down there. Alright. Yeah. Our mission? Let's do it. To pick the best slide and name it. Ladies first? You, as in oh, me. First. Watch your steps because once you go, you're going. Do you want to go first? Oh, you go. Go Alright, see you at the bottom. Woo oh. <laughs> Alright, 
This is perfect here. It's actually right into a sandy bottom. We need a bit of a push. <laughs> it's so freaking cold. When you walk forward, just make sure you lift your feet up. Oh How are you supposed to get up? How are you supposed to get up? Up to the ridge. Help me up. There you go. First one down. Oh, that's icy, eh? Oh. You want to do that one? I don't know if I can do this. Want to do that one? No, seriously. I don't know if I can do this. Dad, I can't do it. <laughs> well, grab your towel and come down. I can't believe how icy this is. That's wind chill, mate. I've got to actually got an ice cream headache. That's really, really hectic. Ice cream headache, full on. Trying to get over here without falling over. Wow. Oh. This one looks really good. I'm worried about the, um, the hard stuff here, but I'm gonna have a crack at it. Whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay. Oh, it looks like I'm going. Looks like I'm going. <laughs> that was cool. Actually nicer in the water. Once you move around a bit. I just did it. I got to the top and fell down. I did actually. <laughs> Dad's got me filming. I feel like this is the end. It's like child versus wild all over again, except I'm the child. If I don't make it back, Mum. I love you. Oh, I'm sorry for never doing the dishes. Dad's waiting on me. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, sorry. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, why is he on that nap off? <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> he looks so happy. I rated about a 4 out of 10. He didn't even go down the, down the street. He didn't even go down the street. I don't know if I'm doing this justice for you guys, but it is literally the wind chill is probably like anywhere between five and ten degrees, I'd say, the, the temperature. And then the water is what do you reckon the water temp is done? What is that? Yeah, 15, 16 degrees. So you're literally swimming in 15, 16 degree water and then getting out to a literally anywhere between 5 and 10 degree wind chill. Oh, wind chill is longer, longer than that. Oh, Dad's even saying it's lower. I was trying to be nice. Um, and then I'm looking at this ground and I feel like I'm tripping out. I don't know. I know I'm talking a lot. I think I might be going into hypothermia or one of the two. Hypodermia. Hyper something I don't know I know I look horrible right now and I don't even care because I feel like I'm taping the last few minutes of my life I don't even realize I'm walking I'm just walking now and I can't feel my legs or my shoulders or anything of the above <sighs> anyways catch us. walk full time but it's like kind of walk on your hands and knees here oh, look at this Oh wow, it's really deep in there too. Oh. It's actually like a full little ledge in here. Actually the water is warmer in here, so water is warmer. That's really beautiful. <sighs> it's 
It's like a perfect little figure of eight waterfall. Straight to it. Little rock door. It's another one there, another one there, another one there. They're everywhere. <laughs> That's how deep it is. Another one. They're just amazing. Little rock pools. <sighs> this one will be warm. Oh. Oh, this one's warm. That was amazing. So there's a whole bunch of amazing little pools running right down through. Yeah. There it is guys. There's the junction between the two creeks. It started to go a bit numb so the water's not affecting me too much now. But it's beautiful, different water coming out of there. It's a little bit more greenish water. Beautiful nonetheless, little rock pools coming right out. And there it is. Well, that's what you find when you go exploring. See how slippery this is, maybe not much. That's pretty cool. Don't know how to get out of here though. Oh god. I'm cold. <laughs> I want to go home. Charlie, I'm not cold. I'm alive. <laughs> You're a madman. <laughs> it's just uh, it's so remote, hey. Yeah. We're so far away from everywhere else. Yeah. Where I'm sure in France you probably have so many places to go that are just a few hours away. <laughs> Come to the end of our trip, stand here in these beautiful little wildflowers. What have we seen? We've seen, we just saw crimson rosellas. We saw king parrots earlier. <laughs> um, saw a kangaroo before. Big, big kangaroo. Yeah. We had the red belly black when we came in. Yeah. We had um, the possum last night with the baby on its oh, back. We got a bit off track. Um, the echidna. Nah, the wallabies. Yeah, wallabies. We've seen a lot. It's a pretty amazing little spot. Girawin National Park. That's it. Done and dusted. <laughs> Just another day at Girawin. Another day.